Yo, what is cooking everyone? We're gonna show you how to get these LEDs installed under your car. We got the kit right here shipped in from Flash Shark Auto Parts. We're gonna show you how to use the controller, get them installed, get the wires tucked up out of the way, hook it up to your battery and get your car looking nice like this, lighting up the road at night. Let's check it out. Here we have the LED chassis light strips. Looking real nice. There's also six feet of extension wire in there. Definitely gonna need that for the wagon. She big. We got this wireless controller. There's also an app so you can use your phone if you wanna do that instead. And then here we got our cable ties, chassis clips along with some screws. All right, we have all the LEDs here spread out. This is everything that's gonna go around the car. Look over here, the direction. It all starts at the front and works its way around to the back. And you see we have two of these split in half. This one has no end to it, so you can tell that one goes in the back. And then we have these two that go in the front that continue the circuit. And you know the direction they're going by these arrows that are on there. And that'll let you know which way they gotta go around the car. And there's gonna be turn signals and all that hooked up to it, brake lights. We have this to go into the Cigarette lighter, we're not gonna use that, we're just gonna wire straight up. That's it. <laughs> now we made these custom brackets here in the front and the back, you see them bolted on. We're gonna put the LED strip right on this. In the front here, got it bolted. We cut it in half because we don't wanna mess with the radiator support there. All the way across. Got her bolted up right here in the fender. Just drilled it, nice sheet of aluminum all the way across and those LED strips are gonna mount right onto her. All right, now here you're gonna want to clean the body good, especially on the metal. Get it down to that bare metal, grind off all that surface rust, all that nonsense. Get it nice and clean so that 3M has something to adhere to. Right here, you gotta Wash those arrows, point towards the back of the car. And get this right on our little bracket here. Just round up and perfect. Apply it all the way down. There we go. The adhesive works pretty good. There we go. Pieces. See here, comes to an end. Peel the back off. And you want it to meet right in the middle. It's lined up pretty good. Say something around there. Start in one end. Roll it on. back piece. This in a good spot. Looking like right about there. We'll put it right up against. I only get to do it once. Go right over that screw and put a zip tie there. There you go. All right, gotta get the arrow again. Make sure you see which way it's going as it point towards the back of the car. Do it off. Along. It's quite a long car, and look at that. It works. Fills it out pretty nicely. Try and skip over the holes here. 
say right about there is where I want it. And right down. Now this on the bare metal, I don't expect it to stick too well. We did grind it. I'm going to go over this hole here, that's okay. It's actually sticking pretty good there. Yeah, you ain't coming off. Okay. Again, watch your arrows, point it towards the back. Definitely don't want to do this twice. Get all that off. Start on one end, go all the way down. Start her up here. Straight down. that perfect. A long car, but it's a pretty long strip. Now if we go under the hood here, you can see our little handiwork. Hooked her right up here on the hot line, you can see. Running straight across. It's this red wire here. So you go all the way to our switch. And this switch is what keeps my battery from dying because it's a nice hard wire. Now this also, you can see here, connects to more things as well. This is your brake lights and your turn signals. It will match up to that as well. I don't have those hooked up because I will not have this on while I'm driving because it is quite illegal. All right, now we're gonna go through the controller here. You see everything on there. You have all your colors, you got different modes. You have different brightnesses, the auto, the speed as well. There's also an app that you can download that comes in the box with the QR code. For now, I'm just using the controller. It did not come with a battery, so make sure you get yourself a 2025 so you can hook it up and get going right out the box. We'll go through all the different colors here. You see green, orange, red. We got everything going on in here. Go through all that. You got all the colors you can think of, all different kinds of combinations. We can go through the modes as well. There you go. A whole bunch of different modes, different directions, however you want it done. Whatever color combination that you want, look at all this. You can have it go forward, backwards around the car and it goes in sync around it. Makes a perfect loop, absolutely beautiful, honestly. You can go on auto, which is that beautiful rainbow color that we all love. You can increase the speed. You can decrease the speed if you want. Slow it down, look at that. Very slow around, get it going fast. A lot of great things you can get done with this controller. All right, now let's go around the car and you can see everything lighten it up right there. Get underneath. You can see the LEDs right there installed real nice. We'll get nice and close there for you. You can see I have the wire tucked up right here. Goes right inside the wheel well. Look at that right up in there. Got her zip tied nice and tight. Work our way around the car. See the front there where it all comes to a beginning and an end. See right there, look at that. Tucks right up into the radiator support. There's our controller in there. That's where we're pointing our remote control towards. See that all up in there, wires tucked up nice. Going right behind the wheel well again, both sides. See it underneath. the end of the LED getting tucked up in there. Everything's 3M adhesive on the LEDs and zip tied under the car. For the back, I looped her up and over the axle, all zip tied up and then 3M adhesive. Everything came in the kit that I had to do. 
I had zip ties left over and I used a few home zip ties that I had at the house. But this kit came with everything. It's also double-sided tape to adhere the remote to the car if you wish. You see the wire again tucked up inside and there you have it. It's been one week since the LEDs have been on the car. All the LEDs are working great, the 3M adhesive is holding on strong, and the controller is responding well. This kit is definitely worth your money. I made it out to a few meets and shows in the area, and everyone is loving these lights. All right, everyone, thank you for checking out how to cook up some LEDs on your ride and a big thank you to Flash Shark Auto Parts for sending these out. Be sure to hit them up. Their website will be in the description so you can get your hands on some of this sauce for your ride so you can light up the night just like this. <laughs>